Got a bit of a crowd moment right now. Got a big New York Yankee baseball fan. Where is Alex? Alex in the crowd? Is that Alex? (laughs) Alex. Where's Alex? Here's here's Alex, our baseball fan. It's Alex Rodriguez. Hey! How you doing, man? I'm doing great. What's happening, bro? Let's watch you. Hey, Alex, how are you? CNBC hey, last night. Hey, babe, how are you? Good to see you again. Congrats to your Nats. Thank you. Thank yeah, what did you think Mr. about Rodriguez. the series? Congrats to your Mets. <laughs> what did you think about Astros Nats? Uh, I thought it was fantastic. It was a great World Series. We almost had 30 million people watching in Game 7. And for baseball or any sport, that's just a huge number. There's another big sporting event coming up. It's called the Super Bowl, and your girl's performing. Yeah, wow. How is she feeling about that? Is she pumped? She, You know, it's been a dream of yeah. hers her whole life. I mean, who doesn't want to play at the Super Bowl, right? Right. And she's always wanted it. She's been closed a few times. Yeah. And when we got that call from Roger Goodell in the league and Jay-Z, we were thrilled, and she was in tears. Is she already rehearsing? Oh, she's been rehearsing for, like, six weeks. Of course I mean, she does. Yeah. For Miami, yeah. too. It'll be the yeah. perfect spot. Yeah. yeah. Hey, tell us about this new CNBC show you've got coming up. Too. It's called Back in the Game. It, it's really a, an amazing story. Athletes that are gone or entertainers from rags to riches to rags. And you don't have to be an athlete or an entertainer to fall into economic hard times. Yeah. But a lot of it is process. Look, none of us would want to get in the ring with a Vandy Holyfield. So, because he would beat us up, right? But so everybody needs a little coaching, a little mentoring, and we got them back in the game. We always wonder how this happens. You know, for our generation, it was MC Hammer. There were stories about Hammer losing money. Yeah. Um, or Mike Tyson, Holyfield, uh, worth $250 million at one point, made $35 million for that second mm-hmm. fight with Tyson. Mm-hmm. And you ask him in this special, where'd the money go? Mm-hmm. What Ultimately, what happens and how can you get Evander or people like him back in business? Yeah, a lot of it is, look, three or four divorces. You have 10 or 11 yeah. kids with seven or eight different women, and not necessarily Evander, but that happens across the board, it comes down to a few principles, right? Is people, is process, and is economic alignment, and is discipline. Yeah. Well, the cool thing about the show is Alex and his team get these people yeah. back on track, or at least give them some hope. Very much like a prophet. Yeah. Hey, Alex, what last... La- well with the I, I got in the ring, and I got embarrassed. I was doing a little... <laughs> <laughs> I like that move. One last question. When are those wedding bells going to ring? Oh, oh, that's right. We need to know. That's a great... Always up Hold it. You know you're going to be the first one to know. I told you is that. Is that right? It's, I told you that. That's a promise? <laughs> that, that, that wasn't an answer. <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> Our best to Jalo. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats thank you. on the show. Thank and you. you're going to come back and see us in the fourth hour. Yes. Yep. Yes. Good. Look forward to that. You can watch the premiere of Back in the Game. It's tonight, CNBC. Thank you, Alex.